just a word of warning with these conductivity based uh, brake fluid testers they're only really to be taken as a guide only they don't provide definitive proof of anything really um, what I have found after some research online is that various brands of even the same dot rating brake fluid have different levels of conductivity um, straight out of the bottle so these things can't really tell you accurately what the percentage of moisture is on every type of fluid um, maybe one way of getting around it is to measure it first as long as you know what's in the actual car Uh, this is what I bought and out of interest it is measuring over 2% according to this thing straight out of the bottle brand new bottle um, freshly opened and this one I opened yesterday read exactly the same 2.2% so as long as you know that from the get-go um, yeah, you could probably make an educated guess as to how much moisture has gotten in there. If you test it, say, six months later and it's now reading 2.6%, you'll know that it's 0.4% more, according to this thing, anyway, um, in moisture versus when it was installed. Uh, just out of interest, I'll show you what pure water actually registers as pure water obviously doesn't have as many impurities in it as uh, like your city water supplied will have um, in my area our water comes out of the ground and it is treated they add fluoride and chlorine to it and then pump it into our houses to slowly poison us And you can see the distilled water is reading similar to that brand new brake fluid. Out of interest, this is the uh, horrible tasting groundwater that is pumped into our houses in my area. And yeah, because of the mineral content in that, it is registering, my goodness, over 6%. Yeah, if your brake fluid looks like that, yeah, obviously there's something seriously wrong. So let's just make a bit of a lethal cocktail here. see what happens obviously this will trigger it but I wonder how much water it takes that was a reasonable amount of water in that little container there and that's only brought it up to 2.6 percent and yeah probably double the quantity again brought it up to around five and now it's maxed out so anyway moral of the story is these things can't be trusted unless you have a, a starting point for the fluid that you're using and realistically the best solution is to just change your damn fluid on time and if there's any doubt change it anyway it's not something worth cheaping out on